Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new review in which we're going to talk about the Rudolph which finally hits the shop with the new battle pass. Is it good? Is it bad? In my opinion, it's just average. Not like the agent we had in the previous battle pass, which actually was something big. Here, at least, I like the fact that Wargaming is not implementing a broken version of an already existing tank, because this tank is literally a copy paste of the MK, M4, MK, M4A3E8, which we're going to compare it to. As you can see, the tanks are pretty similar. I didn't check the armor profile yet, so I don't know if those uh, wooden things here are counting as the spaced armor but I don't think Wargaming did that. We are going to try to compare both tanks to see if there is a huge difference for you to know if you already have the M4A3 E8 if this battle pass is worth it knowing that all the battle pass are worth it because for five euros you can get yourself more than uh, more than 20 euros worth of stuffs, gold, credits credit boosters, etc, etc. Let's not lose too much time and jump directly into it. Let's first talk about the M3E8 and we're going to talk about the gun. As you can see, 3.6 seconds of aim time, the gun dispersion 0.33 and 1.9k damage per minute. Whereas if you compare with the Rudolph, you're going to see that the tank has a little bit of a better gun handling because your aim time is a little bit better, your gun dispersion as well, damage per minute as well, etc, etc. In To sum up, both the tanks tanks are quite similar, but the Rudolphs have something that the M4A3E8 doesn't have, aka a really good gun handling. But of course, that's the only thing that is the main difference between both tanks. On the rest, the tanks are pretty similar. I just know that the M4A3E8 goes a little bit faster. So if you want the mobility, you should go for the M4A3E8, the regular one. If you want to have an accurate gun, you should go for the Rudolph, knowing the difference is not that big. Now that we compared both tanks and you know what is the difference, let's focus straight into the Rudolph. We already talked about the gun, so I'm not going to come back on it. The only thing I find is a little bit boring about the tank is probably its lack of penetration. But I think that this penetration is quite normal for tier 6. It's just me that is not used to play tier 6. Usually uh, I'm fine with 250 millimeters of penetration, but let's be honest, we're not going to put that on a tier 6. For the rest, guys, you don't have any armor, as it's the case on pretty much every single easy eight and the engine which allows you to go extremely fast and therefore take advanced position the tank is quite high that's why you have 12 degrees of gun depression but even if you have 12 degrees of gun depression you're going to be quite versatile on more probably all the hilly terrains on the game but just still be careful about what you're doing with it because you don't have armor and we're going to check the armor right after talking about the equipments first thing first i go for the gun rammer because even if i think that there is a little bit of a lack of gun depression i don't think calibrated shell with only nine millimeters of increasing overall penetration is enough so i would rather go for more dpm after i go for the enhanced gun lane drive to reduce my aiming time and finally i go for the refined gun simply because you could go for the vertical stabilizer as well but the thing is with this tank i like to snapshot without necessarily moving or i'm gonna shoot when i'm not moving and that's why i would rather go for the refined gun because it allows me to have a way better gun dispersion it's better in terms of snapshot in my opinion snapshot when you're not moving if you snapshot while moving you need a vertical stabilizer after, I go for the defense system because I'm not going to ram anybody. Improved assembly because as I told you, you don't, you don't have any armor so you want to go for HP. Finally, the toolbox because an instruct is useless. Improved optics because I need view range. I'm not a tank destroyer. I'm not going to camp. I don't need a camo. Engine accelerator because my mobility is great so why not improve it a little bit. And finally, I end consumable because as you reload fast, it will make adrenaline last longer and therefore for you, you will be able to shoot more shots. That's pretty much the tank in the garage. Now let's talk about it in Blitz inspector i know a lot of you are going to be disappointed because it seems like oh it's not spaced armor on the side but that's logic and pretty much this tank doesn't have any armor regardless of where you shoot it's going to penetrate so you need to be extremely careful while driving it in order for you not to get completely smoked the only way for you to bounce is actually getting shot here with regular shell not apcr because apcr can actually go through but you have 154 millimeters so when you're facing tier 5 there will not penetrate tier 6 if they are using with a with a 
with no if they are using a PCR you will be able one chance out of two to bounce them and when it's tier 7 and above you are going to get smoked be careful about that because the tank is literally made of paper on the pretty much everywhere except the front where you are not going to get penetrated by HE but be careful about smasher and all those kind of tanks all right, we are going to go for a live battle simply because I'm in a rush. And as I'm in a rush, I need to get content as soon as possible. And it's going to be a, a good idea because I can actually talk about my moves while I'm doing them. Pretty much with the Rudolph, all you got to do, guys, is uh, be in all down position while peekabooing at the same time. You go somewhere where you can show only your turret and you wiggle every time you are reloading. And w when you shoot, try to snapshot. This tank works pretty effectively in snapshot simply because because as I told you, you have a great gun accuracy. So let's try to make it work. As you can see, we're facing tier seven. When you're facing tier seven, don't try to make them bounce with your gun mentally because oh, they will all penetrate. But let's give it a try. Let's give it a try and see what we have in front. We need to be careful. They have a Panther platoon. And if they decide, are you the real Pantoof? So we know they are gonna try to maybe focus me. So I'm gonna tell them that I'm not the real. Uh, I'm gonna pray for myself not to get focused. Uh, I think they know it's me. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think I think they already know that I lied there, so I need to be careful. I need to be careful, boy. So, 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 changing plans. I wanted to go where the Dracula is, but I feel like it's a bad idea simply because they are all stacking up together on the right side of the map. So I'm probably going to try to circle a little bit there. There is a 12T. I don't think the guy can push. As the guy can push, he's probably going to come back. And as he's coming back, I'm going to smoke him a little bit. Here we go. Second shot. We have the VK with us as well. And the guy got killed by the Dracula, which allowed himself to just blast a huge shot here we go as i told you you don't really need to take your time while shooting with this tank because you are great at snap shooting look at this the poor panther did not even manage to penetrate his shots come on panther show yourself oh yeah i told you guys that the gun handling is just insane come on panther show yourself please i need some damage he doesn't want to move and he will not move probably All right, here we go. And there is his friend there, but I don't think... Yeah, I'm going to take the shot and going back right now. We need to deal with that panther before going further. But the problem is this guy doesn't want to move. It seems like the whole team managed to do something but me because of that freaking panther that doesn't want to move. You're dead anyway, mate. You are dead anyway. Ooh, 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 ooh. interesting. Interesting and failed. Come on, we are gonna we are gonna smoke some shots on that deeker. As long as he's not watching me, I don't care, and I feel like he doesn't want to. Look at this gun accuracy, guys. I told you here I don't really need to move, so I don't and just pff, it's insane. The accuracy, that's what really makes this tank insane in my opinion. The Dracula should be able to destroy that guy. Yes it did, and we finish off the game with a pretty average game. I'm not really satisfied with this, so we're gonna go for another one. Here, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to keep that game simply because you see the accuracy the tank has, which is insane. We're going to go for another game, and hopefully we're doing more than 2k damage. Please, the matchmaking, be gentle with me. I need to do my, my review, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is it taking so long to find a battle, I mean? I shouldn't take that long. Ah, better. See, when you when you rage, guys, it works, and you actually manage to get yourself into a, a battle. So here we go once again with our mighty Rudolf, and we are gonna try to see how it works. As I told you, play style, hold down, peekaboo, wiggle your gun when you're reloading, and you are set up. And uh, yeah, don't fully focus before shooting. That's useless with that tank. It's just insane. If you equip it the same way as I did, because as you all know fail that's the other one i have the big brain when it comes to making those equipment stuff so let's go let's not lose too much time and jump directly into it we're gonna try to play an aggressive position as i told you you have a good mobility and your mobility allows you to take advanced position of course we need to be careful because as you can see i'm spotted and if i'm spotted it means that there are probably a lot of them camping on the other side yeah, agent is already here. Why are you here, you donkey? Come on, get out of there. Why are you there? 
There is no point into getting into that position, by the way, guys. Never do that. You're just gonna get smoked because if you're spotted, you can't go back after and everybody can penetrate you. RIP! Alright, they're all here. Unfortunately for me, nice shot, Panther. I need to get around there, but the... Oh, oh nice. I was saved by the, by the rock because I failed. Come on. I feel like it's gonna be an extremely boring game and Wargaming doesn't want me to just get a fast review out of this tank, which is quite the problem. See? Accuracy, boys. I told you. Accuracy. Okay, is that AS really gonna do what I think he he's doing? No, I don't think so. Here we go. We sneak some shots. Oh, yes. He missed. Nice. Thank you, RNG. He missed us. Kill the Emil. No, we can't. As we can't, we're gonna focus on something else. Boom! Straight into the side of the turret. Here we go again. 12 degrees of gun depression, baby. Working effectively. Sneaking a shot on the tiger. We are in a really good position, as I told you. We, we have 12 degrees of gun depression, which can be made quite useful on top hills like this. That's what I love about the American tanks. They are great at doing these kind of things. Come on, tiger. Show your ugly ass. And he missed. Nice. Oh, there is the S tier. STRV. Can I maybe sneak shot on that guy? Oof, rip. Alright, you know what? You know what, you know what? They are not watching me, so I'm gonna go in, kill the Emil. Nice, and now that the Emil is gone, I'm gonna focus on the rest of them. I actually carry a lot of HE shells, whereas I'm never gonna use them, by the way. Like, you don't need to use gold shells with this tank. Okay, we're gonna brawl against the agent. He's gonna die as soon as I'm reloading right now. See ya, thanks for coming, and let's focus on the rest of their tanks. Alright, here we go. Rip failed. As you can see, the accuracy is something really insane about that tank, and that's probably what I like the most. Look at this, you don't need to aim, man. All you gotta do is going around the corner, snapping your shot, going back to your position, and you're safe. And as you can see, you bounce when you take the shots straight into your gun mantlet. As long as you don't stay way too long in the same position. And here we go, we nearly did 2k damage and 4 kills. I'm gonna go with that, that was a pretty, pretty average game, but uh, yeah, first class, I'm gonna go with that. Take a look at the credit numbers, guys. I don't feel like this tank has a great credit coefficient, or uh, I think the agent has a better one, or maybe I'm doing better with the agent, but uh, that's fine. I mean, that's just a collectible status, which is meant to gain more credits than the regular Tech 3 tank, but less than the regular premium tanks. Here we go for the review. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. I was glad I was able to try this tank live, and I'm gonna say you to you, uh, au revoir.